hey welcome back this is the customer account page and now in this lecture we will actually display the picture of the customer so whoever is uh, sign in uh, to their account they will see their picture and these links as well and we'll also add some content over here so very simply we can uh, do some PHP over here PHP script will simply say dollar uh, underscore session because the session is already here which is customer underscore email and we'll say we will save this session uh, in a different local variable like uh, user user is equal to this thing I mean user equal to the session now get underscore img is equal to we will write a query and this query will write select all from customers where a customer underscore email is equal to user that's it oh we have we need to run this query now run underscore img is equal to mysqli underscore query and connection and then this variable get underscore img so after that we will just simply create a new variable row underscore img is equal to mysql i fetch array uh, run underscore img so we can just simply uh, get the image from there now simply say uh, cust c underscore image is equal to row underscore img because we are fetching the data from the table so we just can directly say customer underscore image which is basically inside the customers folder we are also talking about this name of the customer image who is actually logged in right now so we have taken that with the reference of user uh, session which is customer email using that reference we have got the image and now this is inside the local variable now very simply we can echo it inside uh, I mean an IMG take will write source is equal to customer images because this is the same folder customer underscore images and backslash and then we will write PHP yes no 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 we cannot write PHP over here we'll simply give that name of the image which is C underscore image that's it and we can give it a width for example width is equal to 150 pixel and height is equal to 150 pixel and this take close that's it very simple we record it the we have just displayed that using echo statement and uh, we have got that image from the images folder and we have given the name of the image we say just find out this image in this images folder customer images so we can display that control s to save come back refresh the page and you can see this is the image of that user another user will uh, log into their account there will be their picture we can simply give it a style for example can use a B take we can use a B take a uh, paragraph take and its style will be uh, text underscore align center and we'll close it here and also we will add a border
border is equal to 2 pixel solid white that's it control is to save come here and refresh the page and you can see this is now centered but there is no border because this does not accept border you can add border from here we'll simply say cat inside the cats there is img we will simply add a border border 2 pixel solid white control is to save and now come back press the page and you can see the border and the img we can also give some padding 4 pixel control is to save and refresh the page and you can see there is some space I mean some padding so now we can just log out and we'll create another user so he she will have their picture in their details just I will click this logout button but actually this logout button is not there we just need to change the URL from here the logout button because the logout is not there so we need to put that logout I mean this logout we need to copy this and put it in the customers folder so now once again we will go back and we click logout so we can change the URL of that I mean inside the logout button we now can change this to something like uh, outside the directory when you add uh, two dots double dots and backslash to an, uh, an URL or uh, an address that's mean that is outside the directory I mean this is not in the this directory I mean this customer folder this is basically called directory in web designing so actually we need to go back here to the main page sorry the e-commerce website so here we can just simply go to login page and we'll register a new user with another name for example uh, I mean Samantha and its email will be same at gmail.com password will be same and we'll add another image for example this one the Malala Yusufzai one and country will be United Kingdom and city London and a content contact number and some kind of address as well this will say create account so they will take us to this payment page because we have to pay because we have a product but uh, we can directly go to my account so here you can see this is the picture of Malala that new user we have and here you can also C welcome same at gmail.com that is the email we had given right now if you click logout will be taken back to this home page I mean home page of the website so that's very simple now uh, we can uh, add some data to this my account but uh, actually we can add some data but we will add that into this my account in next chapter sorry next lecture